See, check it out. I made some oatmeal raisin cookies. They're super sumptuous. I pulled the first batch out of the oven. Here's the uh, pile of batter there. Um, see, look, check out the spatula. It's so flimsy. And the only use for it is a uh, cookie, you know, wrangling. It's so bendy, you know. Oh, jeez. Look at that. The whole thing bends. I could, like, with my hand, like, squeeze it. Anyways, the only use is cookie wrangling. God damn. Look at that skill. That's some real good cookie wrangling right there. All right, now over here. All right. Let's uh, do this other thing. Oh yeah, this is uh, this is something that I set up this time. Uh, it's my um, brining mix. What we're gonna do is uh, I have some sea salt here, just fine grain regular sea salt. I was gonna use some fermented honey. Now what this is is basically honey uh, vinegar. And then I was going to put that in, into the bag mix, of course, because this is going to sit overnight in it. Uh, some ground nutmeg for additional spicy sweetness, because, you know, everybody likes that. Uh, a little bit of uh, organic basil that's fresh refrigerated. You know, it's ground up. And uh, some smoked paprika, as you can see there. And some uh, lemon squeeze. You know, I've got to put quite a bit of that in there, I think, actually. And uh, oh, oh, the most important ingredient, because it's sweet, is uh, honey. And then uh, a bay leaf, I guess, or two, just because everybody likes bay leaves. You know, they're, they're adorable. Yeah. So there's I'm the chicken in there. Throwing this chicken in the bag. Yeah. You're doing a good job at that, I, I agree. I've been doing a good job of talking. Yeah, I was just, uh, I gotta get this, just saying. Alright, well, I'll, I'll go back to, um, staring at this lemon here. This stuff's pretty good. Uh, let's see if I can get the camera away. There, there we go, it's focusing in. Uh, we're getting lemon squeeze. Uh, taste beyond compare. Yep. Product of oh, Italy. Right. Huh. Just takes a while to get these chickens in the bag. Oh yeah, dirty chickens foot. Oh yeah, pull off that little tampon, yeah. There you go. You got the chicken tampon out of there now, it's just delicious chicken. Alright. And now we'll just start squeezing in our goodies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think it needs probably like... Oh, more, more than that, but I just wanted to add oh, more later because okay. I'm like that. Alright. There we go. That's, that's a decent amount mm -hmm. of uh, nutmeg he put in there. This yeah. is that basil squeeze. Sort of dropping in there. See some of that in there. Yeah, I don't know how much we need. How what do you think? More? A little more. Hmm. Yeah, basil's nice, so, you know. There we go. That, that's good. It's quite a bit. A little bit more. Okay. And then. Uh, some of this. Yeah, paprika. There we go. Perfect. Uh, 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 yeah. See, I don't. I still don't know the amounts. He's he's the expert seasoner. He's the seasoning boy. It's because I have a straight hair part. It's true. It's uh. It, it's why. It, it, it's the way it works. Ooh, tossing. Ooh, two bay leaves. Ooh, bold choice. Ooh. Okay. Oh yeah, fermented honey from the longan tree. I mean, the yeah. I mean, vinegar goes good yeah. with this, and it's honey vinegar too, so it's sweet. Oh yeah, lots of that. Oh yeah, he used lots. Yeah, because this was full, and now he used a good percentage of that bottle. Oh yeah. Oh man, that smells that smells good. So good. That smells like um the higher quality version of a trashy McDonald's meal. Right? Man, yeah, and then you add the honey, yeah, yeah, disgustingly sweet. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. And then you gotta add extra bonus salt, you know. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Don't we need more honey than that though? Yeah, if we add that much salt, you gotta add more honey. Yeah, and you, and you know, it's honey vinegar too, so you know, you should probably just add more honey in general too. But it being go to boom. Yeah, yeah, everybody likes their meat sweet. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. And that means you gotta add more lemon. Yep, oh yeah, lemon. Yeah, you just gotta know the right amounts, you know, there we go. Beautiful. 
And, uh, well, we can add some oil, I guess. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Um, let's use the last of our sunflower oil. Oh, I do love sunflower oil. Drip, drizzle it all in there. Very nice, very hot, very spice, very sensuous. Mm hmm. All that stuff and more. All that stuff and more. Straight up showing up at your door. Put some safflower oil in there to bolster it. Yeah. All right. Now it's been fortified and bolstered, whatever mm -hmm. the hell that means. It means you're going to survive at least 60 years on it. Wow. Wow. Damn. It's a long time, Charlie. Well, there we go. That's some tasty looking chicken. Oh, wait. But oh, you forgot to add the chunk of this. Oh. Yeah, show, show oh. them what, what my, my secret ingredient is. Uh, well, apparently it's moldy. I don't know. Oh, is it crap. all moldy? Is it all moldy? Nah, it's not all moldy. No, that spot was just moldy. Yeah, but... that's just a bad spot. Um, let's make sure it's not moldy anywhere here. The exterior is a little moldy in spots, so I better wash this oh, off. Oh, jeez, I sorry, I didn't know the ginger was what it had been left so long. So far away, so far away for far too long. I keep dreaming that the ginger will never go home. Well, it's good to get some of the skin off anyway, so the ginger will... Oh, yeah, so it'll bleed some of its, uh... Essence. Essence. Chicken. You're right. There we go. Ta-da! chunk of ginger. That is the secret ingredient. Yep. This week's secret ingredient is ginger. Damn, drop that little boy in there. Mm-hmm. Get him in on the bottom so that he's soaking into everything. Beautiful. Beautiful music. There we go. He's nestled solidly in the center. And then we'll, uh, I guess we'll put it in the, uh, this here refrigerator. Yep. Wham. Alright, thanks for watching.